Good evening, you are listening to Studio 7 from The Voice of America on Friday, July 10th, 2014, 15th. And this is Live Talk. I'm Kip Stube. And I'm Jonga Kandemiri. Tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about the eviction of vendors in Harare. To join our discussion, phone us directly at 001-202-619-2077 and we'll call you back. Live Talk calls out to Zimbabwe on our 909 meter wave frequency and on the 4930-5940 and 15455 kilo short wave Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. And on the internet, you can find us at www.voezimbabwe.com at www.voeshona.com and at www.voeindebele.com. Thanks for joining us once again. You are listening to Studio 7 Live Talk. This evening, we are talking about Zimbabwe's attempts to evict vendors from cities. And vendors claimed today that their goods and stalls were destroyed by Harare Municipal Police, a claim that was rejected by council officials. The government says local authorities should remove vendors from central business districts, which it says are now in ISO. What do you think about this issue? If you wish to join the show, phone us directly at 001-202-619-2077 and we'll call you back. The number once again, 001-202-619-2077. You can also send us a message on WhatsApp. Our number is 1-202-465-0318. That number again, 1-202-465-0318. We are also on Twitter, Facebook, and our email address is studio7news at voanews.com. Yeah, uh, so we have a lot of people who so, guys, you can see the city. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. When I was in the when I was in the city, you could see the city. You could see the city. You could see the So, guys, go to the city. You could see 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 the Inye kuti wa rukutengi sawa megwagwa wa muka kusense ni wakawana shunzao shunzao piswa e, mugutare harare asi mfunzo mkuru ndio kuti ndia na pisa ni kuti kanzuri ili kuti ayo isa atina kupisa shunzo wano trukungo tiba wano kuda emu mugwagwa jisina naro jisina kumaniki zana ndio nye atura wati kuru kure nasi jaita wati koke mutawiriri mkuru we kanzuri ya harare wa michael shideme wanoe watingati na wapachirongwa chino gibbs ye yeah, kuja loke chonga and i think we, we now have got mr michael shideme he was the principal complications uh, uh, manager uh, in harare uh, good evening and welcome to the program shideme Good, good evening. Thank you very much. Tell us, what is the situation like right now in Harare? The situation in Harare is uh, we are very happy with progress uh, on the on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, we are happy with uh, with members of the informal sector who are complying with uh, with our city bylaws of 2014, which state that the informal sector should trade from city sites. And also the recently the recent government directive that we should stick our, to our bylaws. Um, I hear you are you are talking about uh, an act of arson which happened uh, last night yes. concerning the 
the, the, the goods of the informal sector. Mm. Um, we are equally concerned as the city council that uh, property belonging to the informal sector was destroyed. And uh, the allegations that you are trying to put uh, to, to, to council are baseless and unfounded because as a local authority, our aim is to empower the informal sector so that they can better send off for their families, they can, uh, they can sustain their families. So anything that destroys the livelihood of the informal sector is something that will concern us very, very much. Mm. Yeah, good job for it. Mm. Mamila get us in the ground, near Kuti, Kanzu, as you look at Aguma Shure, Kutilano, Layende, no Tinga set up a no tenderwa. Panama Shokurama, but our Kuti could be Savan Central Business District. Kanzu, a school visalan, Central Business District. Tinema, Tinem Zimbo, the Tinga Sera, the Central Business District. Tributu and Gala in the Panzubo is also no tenderwa, Kutinga Sera Lari. Part of the misinformation in Kuitwa, the Rangufana name misinformation in Gutikans and Rea Pisajin, Quet and Yuzo, Sekans, Tutu Shushikan, Ozikuru, Kutikunavan, or the Pisilavan, Zunuzawas of Ano Tengesa, Mapurisa, Inita, Argutas, Sonia Yoyo, Naya, the people of Mapurisa, Sakas, Mapurisa, Kucha Buddha, Vinaya, Gutiana, Ika, Yuzi, so the Rebab would die. Iwe masa ngano ano mirirava no tenge sawa. Wambu enzo, wambu za mawe liku batane minasi kutimu kurukuru one shudambu zikuwe hili. Nukutu nonza hoti, wambu wari kuti apana urongo wakanyatsu jeka. Wakuti tizu ya uti, muna haru kuenda kuno tenge sera papi, mshire mkunga hawa na kadraki. Urongo wakajeka wakanyanyisa kuna kuno tenge sera papi. Chicho mwaji nikuta wanevano, nikuwe kuti, wambu wari kuti, aa, kwa mwaji kuti endesa, kune mikusitama customers. I think that business, 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 Uwepa kona pa seke na kitu kukoka kola uko. Inzibo uwe kitu mnuweza anopa kwa seke, mnuweza anopa kushitumiza. Anopa kuepuwez, anopa kumarondela, anopa kwa mtoko, anopa kwa murewa, wano kufura na ipapo. Inzibo ya kutu wano kuna kufamba, wano kuna kufamba kupakatipe kuta kuenda ipapo. Breside, akedi ya sani mdia umbare, wano wano kwa nisafu kufamba ni tsoka kuenda kuna tinga ikoko. Uye zimbo ime peku kwilida ni peku kuli kila mabazi. Paripo, pakatoa kukila paka kazi wa kudara. Kikuisa zoe holding bay, ikoko. Saka ili kune industry iliko. Saka ili jimbo ili very good for business. Saka haya mashoku ya wano warungo taura. Sechuro ongwa chiliku itika. Chawani nge vasila havo pa mwe kwezi jenze kuti. Ili nishwe 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 wapa punduzo. Asi tukuti kwa wari. Gawa wane confidence ya kuti kanzu wa embo wa rafisi. Ino wa isa pano pane business. No kutu na kuti wa niwawa. Wakwanze kubadala marendi avu. Wakwanze kubadala mvraya ya wano siya nzesa. Wakwanze kubadala maria wa yema bin. Waenda pano pane kipa ine business. Ino wa kutu kuti. Laka bapa wa kutu ingesa la iye zino. Pano wapa mbeli pezi choro. Wano 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 ita kuti zizi choro. Wakwanze kutu atrakta ma customers. Avo akafanila na nao. Iyo awo makatoma uenda kwa avu kwa wane ngevari. Andidi, njimbo ni njimbo yese, ini ya tinotipa chungu nguma lendi uses. So, lendi use ye zending, karapa. Lendi use ye mashoku wana ok, wana babas, ilipo, ye mabank, ilipo. Lendi use ye kukili ya mabaz, ilipo. Ye kutambi wa bora, ilipo. Saka munu nye munu nga hindi kune lendi use ye aki, kuti akwa ni kwenye hakita business, lage, hali ikoko. Thank you so much, Mr. Chidema.
What, what is he saying? Yeah. Someone thinks. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's uh, literally saying that uh, it's not true that uh, mm. the council has anything to do with the Aswan that occurred uh, mm. during the mm. night or early this morning. And also, he, he put it straight that the council is not uh, kicking out vendors from the CBD mm. because these designated sites are also in the CBD. So it's mm. just a matter of you go to where you belong. Those who play soccer mm. go to Rufaro mm. or Gwanzura. Those uh, who okay and uh, the big uh, uh, chain stores, mm-hmm. they have their places. Mm-hmm. And those who are selling whatever they're selling, this is the time for them to go to where they belong, where they should be selling from. Not that they are being kicked out of mm-hmm. uh, the uh, CBD. And also, if you start your shop, mm-hmm. people will follow you depending on what you are offering. So you're saying if you're playing plastic soccer, don't go to Kwanzura and Rufaro Stadium and PS. No, that, that's soccer. I think you belong yeah. there too. Plastic, you know the no, plastic. No, is... you didn't mention what type of <laughs> ways, but the fact yeah. is he's saying mm. people should know where they are following the bylaws. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. Now, uh, let's bring in Mr. Promise Mkwanazi, coordinator of the Zimbabwe Informal Sectors Organization, and Mr. Joshua Muhambi, spokesman for the MTC, uh, led by Professor Welshman Ngobe. Gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Mr. Mkwanazi, can you hear us uh, very well there? Loud and clear. Yeah, okay. Mr. Yeah. Mwambi, can you hear us? Yes. yes. So we'll start with you, Mr. Mkwanazi. Briefly, tell us what is going on right now in Arani. Well, um, I'm very much uh, excited by the statement from the council spokesperson. I'd like to respond mm-hmm. to that, if you may allow me. Yes. Go ahead. I, we are very, I'm very, very happy with what the spokesperson of the country has said. Mm-hmm. That it is not council that bends the ways of of of, of, of vendors. Mm-hmm. I think we saw our statement yesterday where we queried that the people who were in council uniforms were actually not municipal councillors. For this mm-hmm. and the statements which are coming from the spokesperson of council are very clear that it's not country that will bend this thing. And we maintain our view that it is actually members of the army camouflaged in, poli- in municipal police uniform mm-hmm. who have done this. Number two, we want to make a council position on mm-hmm. the issue of vending. Because as far as we are concerned, the mayor of Harare is very clear that the, the vendors should not be moved in, uh, in, a, in, in an abrupt and impulsive manner. Mm-hmm. There must be consultative processes which must lead to a framework that will ensure that when vendors move, we would have dealt with some of the issues uh, uh, that, 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 that are, are in dispute as we speak. Mm-hmm. The issue of strategic market, for example. Mm-hmm. When you are talking about putting the people in the CBD, mm-hmm. which areas would we want to put them at? So as far as we are concerned, the things the vendors are concerned, we want to see the area around Shelter Street is zoned to have to be a vendor's area, the area around Kupakabana, the area around Mbiyanehanda, and the area around Fort to, to name but just a few of those places. Those are the places where we think that if you zone them off, and make them vending zones, the state order there, the vendors will be very, very, very happy. And number three, there is the issue of the land use which he is referring to. Mm-hmm. Actually, our belief is that the, if you look at the developed world, if you look at Amsterdam, London, Washington, we actually have the CBD gradually moving out of the, uh, the, 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 the typical banks and other major commercial units gradually moving out of the inner city into the fringe, into the fringes of the city, and leaving the inner city for purposes of vending and other uh, such businesses, the tourist attraction, for example. If we are talking about Amsterdam, it's a very typical uh, modern global city, which is uh, some of those characteristics that I am um, talking about. Mm. So we we'll, we'll cut you short there. We we'll cut you short there, Mr. Mkwanansi. So only one yes. more point to make, my brother. One more point to make. Just we are giving you ten seconds so that we can actually interact. Thank you. Let, yes. let me use those ten seconds. Yes. The politicization and corrupt practices around the legislative process mm-hmm. must be addressed. 
the chimeneas of this world have the right to go and register themselves, their relatives, and their past affiliates ahead of the real vendors. We need the most, the, 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 those, 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 those market stores. And lastly, the dialogue that is referring to, they are unconstitutional, they are inherited from the colonial system, they are outdated and irrelevant, they need to be revisited. Thank you very much. Uh, let's get back to, uh, just get back to Mr. Mohambi. Baba Mohambi, Uzak, Uzak, what are you Okay. The problem is the issues around vending and the way it reflects on Zimbabwe as a failed state. Abantu Abachone Street, O Koko, O Mama, Abantu Ananabo Baba, Umuzo Ebuti Gusasa, Sikangelele Uba Nefizwe Bani, Esikulela E Street, O Koko Meluti Ngao Kaya, right so the bottom line is that Zimbabwe failed to state and I was bio unakeleta unfelo gazi intanda nele salugazi. Okay. Yeah. Go back to also the issue of vending. Uh, there is no civil protection. Na kuna chimpa sanja na loko kubali se arari. Uchimpa sanja bantu ubano zbadala yo. Mm-hmm. So what you are saying is that the government should actually create a conducive environment for creating jobs, you know. Mm-hmm. So he says, you know, having grandmothers, having children all on the streets is not fair to Zimbabweans. That's, that's a true statement. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think I can uh, try to go back to Mr. Chideme. Uh, Mr. Chideme, from the pictures that we saw and uh, the people we've spoken to, uh, it uh, seems as if they were keeping their goods overnight uh, at a council premise. Is this so? There is a footbridge just uh, across town house where they kept their goods, yes. So were these people paying to the council or it was just the council providing them? No, they were not paying to council. They were paying to their own uh, hired security guards 
who so they were not paying anything to council. Mm -hmm. But the council provided that uh, facility to them to use. No, council did not provide that facility for them to use. They invaded the facility. And also, uh, Mr. Mkwananzi said that uh, they are not 100% uh, sure whether the police, the municipal police that uh, is cleaning up the streets, the, uh, the details are truly uh, municipal policemen, but uh, some infiltrators. What's your reaction to this? I think, uh, okay, um, we only deploy municipal police officers to do municipal duties. We don't de we don't deploy outsiders, and we don't deploy people who are not on our payroll. Mm -hmm. So we only deploy our municipal police officers. Uh, thank you. Stay on the line, uh, Mr. Chideme. We have a caller, Gibbs. to hand out our name, Mr. Wamene Shona. Mkoma Daniel Bauwa, Varugu Botswana. Maswala say Mkoma Daniel. Oh. Hey, we can you inform your customer? Nare ya wenge, inenge ya vyango tiza. Uno go dambo pinda Gibbs. Yes, singe na kuwe baba mkuana ukwana kwa nini? Yes, yeah, so what's the scale of the Mkwananzi Lapa? I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry 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 Mr. Jideme, I think you can hear Mr. Mkwana saying that, uh, you know, he's maintaining that uh, some of those municipal police are actually uh, people that are sourced from the army. He's maintaining that position. Yeah, you know, he has a right to he has a constitutional right to maintain his own views. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is, Arad City Council does not deploy people who, who are not under its employ. We only we only deployed the municipal police. But you said you think that it's not you who deploy the people that bent the the, the the way. It's not you. So someone deployed them and. The, Definitely, it's not you. It definitely follows that it's not council, the police. Mr. Yes. Can you react to that? I still maintain my stance as a rather city council. All the officers who were in our uniform are municipal police officers. Mm -hmm. So uh, the people who in the ways of the vendors, it's not council, it is the army. It is some of the criminals within the state who are carrying out these extrajudicial duties. Mr. Mohambi, can uh, you be some, uh, <laughs> you know, can you meet yet between these two gentlemen? Mr. Mohambi? A quick summary. A quick summary. Yes. I think we should be looking at policy issues. We make policies around the learning creation. Now, as we talk to family, we to leave these vendors, do this and that. Mm -hmm. It is very good that there is a crisis of credibility uh, in terms of the government. Mm -hmm. I don't know who, which policemen face vendors and so forth and so on. We are saying who actually encourages this mess, right? Mm -hmm. Mess in terms of your hygiene, mess in terms of your socialization, mess in terms of the kind of citizen you are looking at. So this problem is beyond what we see, which is an equation of the army or who says who. The mess is, is in terms of policy making. Uh -huh. We should have clear processes of policy making in terms of employment creation and so forth. It's more at the superstructure level. So when you have basic symptoms of the failed the state, I don't know how many times that can be emphasized. We mm. have failed as a state, we have failed to manage the movement of we have failed to create jobs, we have failed to create an environment that respects humanity. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. So, thank uh, you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Stay on the line, uh, Mr. Mambi. Uh, Mkoma Daniel, Vazoka Parunare. Mkoma mm. Daniel. 
Eh, muro fara ere. Ndiri mpenyu mukoma tino fara wa zikuru tshiku gabi mchira hii. Pachuro ngwa chedi mchinga mchua ya unoti tigira. Ejeja munga adakuta urowa na wezimbabwe. Wakati ya ira panini nguwa. Kini mshidimbu ndruku drive hangu hiko zine zindukuru. Wazi gana pa msoro penye ya iruki itikai. Zino mkoma atini ya nyokuru zira wa nengu wa chishika ira. Kutu wangu wa riparu nari nguwa ya mwishete. Icho kwa adi muruto wa rachinja gana kabatizu. Wangu ndi meza kuti. Chirungwa ya chipuri ya sandai sa shokurangu. Pa, pana klip, pa varu kutora, wa vakiru wa ere, jimbo zine, jimbo za ganaka, za kutu wano kwa nsa kushen driver. E, Vachide, anzi, jimbo za moru kutawara, zese, zane, jimbo zere, e, ne, shunodi wa kutu wano wangu wa shandira hapo. Vachide, ma... Jimbo okay. ziripo. Mkoma danyo ndofu nga mwuriku nzuwa anzi shumbu ziripo jekutu wana wangu wachishandira. Dambu ziko hiri mkoma danyo pane... Mkona shumbu. Halo pane. Eh, wa, wa mkwana nzimira ya nyutisha kupaye mkana. Regaiti mbunzu kwa kuna mkoma danyo. Taeda kuti mkoma danyo muti batsiri. Wa mwambi wa simu za shokura gana kwa juhu. Tinga sukera tishi peza nguwa. Niku vunza na undiana tanda nisa mungwe. E, tishi zoka tishirunga mba tishiramba tishungo tendera tishi tanda nisa. Dambu ziko hiri rekuti kushaya kwa kuma basa. Ringa pezu kwa sem Nambuziko aringa pere karama industry yetu asunga shandi. Nambuziko ripo ikiko zinezo nishia kuti nyaya ili mkati menyika. Ili kutazi sawa ni kutuwa rame nyaya kuta avana cheku bata. Pamsoro pezo. Hmm. Eh, hmm. Ayo watunote nda shukuru mkuma danyo waru kushika ira. Regaiti wa zoro uzi. Yeah, maybe you are staying in corner or something. This is true. The California young guy is coming to have a don. Let's hope we <laughs> to know about the Russian guy. Let's go and this is true. Zaka, nye, nye, we are going to go to the The government should employ. I mean, should create employment. That's right. And we recall that it promised two point something million jobs or two million jobs. And uh, I'm not sure whether vending is part of that two million jobs. <laughs> So, so let's talk to you, Mr. Mkwalazi. You are itching to say something. Can you say that's something, right? I have three things, my brother. Mm -hmm. But first, eh? Mm -hmm. Number one, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chin must clarify the position of council. Mm -hmm. Because the mayor and his executive are very clear. And I think that his remarks are in total contradiction of the position of the Arabic City Council as pronounced by the mayor. Number two, uh, the burning of the world, if it's not country who burned it, uh -huh. that becomes the greatest question of the day. Who did it? And for what purpose? And we maintain that we believe that there is an underhand uh, that is working in count with the state to decimate uh, the vendors in the cities, not for the purposes of cleaning the city as it is alleged, but rather because of a deep-seated paranoia within the state that the proliferation of vendors because of the economic action may lead to a, a, a political instability of some sort. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have got some messages on WhatsApp and Facebook. I'll just read one or two messages on Facebook. One of those messages is from Tamsang Amlilo. Mm -hmm. You know, he writes, uh, the people who deserve the eviction is the government, not that pressed citizens we are trying to survive. So uh, I think that's one of the messages, the messages that we're getting. Yeah. Do you have any message? No, no. I think no. we've got a caller right now. Yes. And this caller is Mr. Kaspen. Kaspen, Gunja. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Yes, uh, uh, Joga, I think we wish to say goodbye to our radio listeners, and now we are streaming live. If you wish to join the show, visit us at www.boizibabwe.com. That uh, website again, www.boizibabwe.com. For our guests, Mr. Promise Mkwanazi, Mr. Joshua Mohambi, and Mr. Uh, Michael Chideme, please stay on the line. And Baba Konapo Kaspen, now Baba Konapo. This is Kips Tube in Washington, D.C. Ongu, Ndini, Jonga Kandemiri, Asi, Trukwende Ramperne Churongwa, Rambai Muripo, Vane Kwanisa Wanga Wachitibata, Taku Roa Inon the Live Streaming. Tishuka Kips. Ye, Uja Lufoy. Ye, Nesi Debele Ngiti. Ye, Konongo in Live Live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
If you have just joined us tonight on Studio 7 Live Talk, we are talking about Zimbabwe's attempts to remove illegal vendors in most uh, uh, city centers. If you wish to join the show right now, phone us directly at this number 001 202 619 and we'll call you back. In our case tonight, uh, Mr. Michael Chideme of the Arari City Council. We also have Mr. Promise Mkwanazi, who is the coordinator of the Zimbabwe Informal Sectors Association, and Mr. Joshua Mkambi, spokesman for the MTC, led by Professor Welshman Nobe. As we go forward, call up. And this show, the terror is a zoka uting a chenda berne chirongwa urukuru eripo inya ekuti vanu varuta ma batiru varuit kwa varuku tengesa miguagua maguta shukuru mguta re arare anenga sina kutaruka na sezon asi vamuka wachwana mizio ya piskwa asi dambo ziko kana kuti mvunzo mkuru ndo ekuti ndiye ane aita ishi nekuti kanzira iri kuti akwete atina ruziyo hapana atavu makuti ndo zvaitika uyo atisata ziyo kuti matano hapa ari kutorwa nevaye varaskirwa nemidziyo notonzwa kuti varaskirwa nemidziyo ingada kushika 100000 dollars ye kunjalo ke chonga uifa kuchinda vaitu la mhlanje abantu vanenyi pachiselwe impatla kuna ngale ke arare ye sizwa kuti ake patepe chiselwe babusi tingo bana vaka zvekonoko ikansila ta city kuti ake kukanya ngazani abantu vati Kuna banya abantu abakomanye ama uniform abakichikichimisa abantu behamba lani la municipal police so bakabanga kuti ngabantu abavela kubutoni lizwe e national army mm. so sizwile ke lapha ke umnumzano chiteme we we arali council city akusiko kuti kuli qiniso konoko kuti ke ungabe kumamanga kakhulu kodwa ke umnumzano promise mkwanazi uyakhobeka city hayi abantu lapha bakhona bavela ku national army asa zvuti kuya zala nkomoni ye kona pecinga ni ngoba nje sikolo umnumzano u caspen ukona ngaleke e Johannesburg baba Caspian asikupeka isizwe ukuthi uthini mfo wethu ngena kuhlela okay iwe gift inyabonga kakhulu ungena kuhlela yeah cha kuzwele mfo wethu mi okay mina nje nivumela nalo promise mkwanani mm lenta ikhuluma iqiniso kakhulu ukuthi libutho angithi uchombo esese i minister e local government wakuveka hloba la wathi yena vele uzathumela ama ama socha bahamba bawo chaya labo bana so izalo siyayazi vele izalo ukuthi umthetho wayo ithathe ifuna ukungcoli sikhansi ithuma ama socha abagqokisa ama uniform yekhansi ukuthi behambe bayo chisa nezinto zabantu mhm ende ungathi unanzelele khona ku gift akulunganga kade esibe sikhala ngendaba ezinophobia la South Africa Mhm. Bona abantu bona laba aba aba chiselwe izinto zabo bazoyaki. Mhm. Ukhuluma kanje basendleleni abanye bayeza ngapha bazofuna imisebenzi. Uyabona ukuthi mase bechala abantu ngapha bese beqala ukusola i government ye South Africa kungukuthi bona yibo abesile ukumanage ilizwe. Kodwa vele khona uku ukukhipha labo bantu ngokubona kwakho ngombono wakho wena. Uqala ukuthi umnotho elizwe uzo 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 phambi. Yes, I see Konoku. 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 I see Mhm. Hai sawa. Yes, Yes, 
trade fair kwa vanjwa kwa vanjwa more than 3 months kwa kichwa ii amari zwa hosu kwa kwa zanga fiji se 50% inga manga lo if I don't box do me baba do the eka ya bere it's a waste of time. I don't want to lie to you. It's that a waste of time. I think the local mass in Africa is not going to be able to do it. What if I don't talk to you? You can't get it. I don't want to talk to you. I spoke to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Pendu ke pele? Ni abonga baba chief. Ah ubone ke ye, uyayitshala pumno mzana. So ke okay, eh, according to Mr. Cospen, you know, the target here by the government is to actually, you know, drag the name of the MTCT into disrepute. You know that uh, the MTCT is leading that council mm -hmm. in Harare. So they are doing whatever they want so that people turn around and just blame them for everything. Mm -hmm. So he said, now where are these vendors going to go if they, their goods have been, you know, set on fire? by the council. Mm -hmm. So he says the only destination is South Africa where he says they are suffering too there. And then he's also demanding to the two million jobs that were promised by the ZANU PF uh, ahead of the 2013 uh, general elections. Mm -hmm. So he has got so many points here, you know. But uh, unfortunately, Gibbs, mm -hmm. we couldn't get someone from ZANU PF. We tried very much, yes, but uh, I think... we couldn't get someone from the government. Yeah. So I yes. hope next week Mm -hmm. We have some answers to all those questions. Yes, we, we, we've got, we were trying to call Mr. David Njlovu. He agreed to come onto the show. So mm -hmm. if Mr. Njlovu is listening, Mr. Njlovu, can you open up your lines? We are calling you shortly. We are, in two minutes, we'll be calling you there. So we hope we're we going to get him. Mm -hmm. I think we are joined by another guest. Mr. That, yeah. Samuel Wadzai, who yes. is the director of the National Offenders Union in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Wadzai, do you know how much you are dollars <laughs> I think that is solid uh, evidence. Kuti uh, pisa the Zunzema members of Dundiani is an association, is a union. But that was one of the vendors is our co point to sit of Harare. Kuti one was your and Makayoka Misa Mota, Waka Kanda Mapi Tropoms. A total legal action to support an NGO forum. Kuti T. unless the council comes up with a clear solution in terms of where the vendors are going to work from, uh, despite uh, the 15 or so sites that the council has already announced are uh, announced, uh, complete. And also, there was the issue of land barons you were complaining about that. What's the position now after all this, what has happened in the past three days? Well, thank you. The reason why we are having uh, vendors being victimized uh, being beaten up and, uh, you know, having these assault cases, uh, the destruction of uh, uh, the ways and uh, goods of vendors is because the, what we've been saying is that the vendors are not moving from their current cases. They decided not to move. Uh, and the, the state, uh, through its agency, decided to use force. Um, but that is that is not going to change our position. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the state has said it use force doesn't mean that uh, we don't have a strategy to respond to that as vendors. We will respond. We don't want to make this country ungovernable. But if we are to be forced to do that, we will do that. Uh, because what we are doing is to try to look after our families and the, also to assist the government to 
ensure that there is patient tranquility in this country. They, oh, everyone in this country is complaining about jobs and, uh, you know, the creation of a conducive environment to, for self-initiatives. Mm. So if we decide to do self-initiatives, Chaku is a bomba, Chaku puts it was on the Edu Chishanda. No one will accept that. Mm. Thank you and very much. Yes. yes, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Watsai. L- let's get to uh, Message Deme. Message Deme, are you on the line? I am. Now, Message Deme, I think uh, what you are gathering from what all these people are saying is you are causing a lot of instability in Harare, and this is going to affect a lot of people, and some of them will end up taking to South Africa to look for jobs. And you know that there is xenophobia there and all those kind of things. Is there any other better solution than what you are doing? Yeah, I think Kanamanga, Bishara, Ufabel Kanga, what the Arab City Council is doing is mm. to empower the vendor. You empower the vendor by giving him or a a place where he or she can do business from without fear of being moved the next day. The overwhelming response by mm. the informal sector to register with council so that they go to designated places is enough confirmation that they are eager to be empowered. And here you bring in people who, who pretend to speak on behalf of the informal sector. And um, I would like to be, I, I want to be very convinced that even some of them mm. uh, have bought the vendor card because they want to trade from the degraded sites. <laughs> but some people are just keen on inciting others not to follow the law. Every country has its own laws. Every local authority has its own laws, which should be followed by every citizen. Even those who come from outside should follow the laws of the land. So anybody who tries to incite violence is, 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 is saying to hell with the law. But we don't say that in Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans are law-abiding citizens, and we are happy. Because uh, as of now, the, our, the numbers that we can accommodate in the CBD, we, have, we are actually having an overflow in terms of registration. Mm-hmm. People who say we want to go to these sites. Yes, people are free to put in across all their arguments, but the bottom line is the people on the ground are eager to move, which is why they make complaints, please put a BCD on this site so that we can be there. Mm. So those who say they don't want to move, I am sorry when the time comes there will not be in, there will not be spaces for them because they will be filled up by people who are willing to follow the law. They will be on the streets making those noises, but the bylaws do not allow them to do business Thank you. from undesignated sites. Thank mm. you. Sir. Thank you very much, and stay on the line. I think we are joined by Mr. David Tindlovu, who is a ZANU-PF Central Committee member, and uh, he is a former Bulawayo mayor. Mr. Jovo, good evening and welcome to the program. Good evening. Mr. Jovo, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the program. Thank you. You can go ahead. Uh, Mr. Jovo, as you can uh, hear uh, from uh, different people who are speaking here on this on this platform, it seems as if uh, this uh, topic has uh, brought about different uh, opinions and also it's uh, turning out to be an emotional one. What's your take on what's happening now in the cities, especially in Harare, where uh, vendors uh, today woke up to find their ways bent down by unknown asylums? Um, I didn't hear the first two talks together that started. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's an unfortunate incident. Very unfortunate. Because we don't expect such things to happen. But uh, I think the real problem there is that the whole issue has been politicized by people who claim to represent vendors when they actually are not representing. They're just going there for their own self-assessment needs, which has nothing to do with vendors. Mm. So, so, Mr. Ndovu, where do, do, do people expect these vendors to go if 
if let's say their words are being banned, if they are being pushed out of the say, certain sections, let me say lucrative sections of the CBD of you know most of these urban uh, environments, where should they go? South Africa, perhaps. See now, it becomes a problem. You see, we are we are little. Mm -hmm. As leaders, we are not supposed to be actually planning for this. When we plan, we have not. Oh, Mr. Jov, we are moving. Can you be in one place? I think you are moving a little bit. Okay. Now we can hear what you. Yes. That, what I'm saying is that if we plan for people, if we can involve the people affected, you can't plan without involving the members. And then impose it or plans upon. Yeah, my, my wish was that perhaps authorities so should involve those affected in the plan. Let them come up with suggestions rather than dictating to individuals that this is what must Yeah, I, I think, yes, thank you very much. We had you there, but the phone is uh, a little bit hazy. So we'll ask you to go to the same spot where <laughs> we actually connected you oh, initially. It's, it's, so I, I think we'll get him. back to him, yes. So now, uh, what we're saying, I think uh, he says, there could have been a better way of engaging these vendors mm -hmm. before actually taking these steps to a victim. By involving them. That's right. I think he's going to point. I think that's, uh, yeah. we, uh, Mr. Chideme can answer that, I think. Yes. Mr. Chideme, uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Love, is saying uh, the best way Hello. to deal with this issue is to involve the affected people. And in this case, the vendors, are you involving them in uh, uh, coming up with all these solutions to this vending problem? Mm -hmm. Ye yes, uh, but before I tackle on that one, I would like to say, Rakoman, all the people that you are interviewing here, the majority of them are not another residents. Mm -hmm. If you were to speak to another residents and ask them, are they happy with this program that is removing the vendors from the pavements, uh, and we would get their input, I think it would make a very big difference to this argument. Because some of the people that are speaking on this on this platform are from South Africa, are from Botswana. They don't stay in Harare. They don't they they don't face the inconveniences that are being caused by people uh, doing business on the pavements, which are supposed to be for place for pedestrians. But then coming back to your question, yes, we are engaging the informal sector, which is why even they were given different debt. They were initially given a debt to move out, and it was extended. And before that, we had run a lot of programs. Uh, one of them was uh, engagement, we engaged them under what we called President uh, Umarucha. Uh, when we spoke to them, we have been speaking to them for almost a year now. Uh, we're trying to, to, to engage them, making sense into each other's heads. They're also giving us their input. So engagement is there, and we will continue to engage as we move forward. Mm -hmm. Uh, stay on the line, Mr. Chideme. What was that? Inya, umbe mu ya trukunzo wa kune wa trukuta ora nao. Ino e mu chete ya simu zgu na wachideme. Yekuti iwe wantenga sera mu guagua. Ba muwa chovanga ba kutu chita kutiwa na wa shika kupinda mu guta. Anzu no kuna ungonzo atika chinchangu saka chitenge kana kutongo itrua shimwe. Jukunzu no bato sina kutaro kwa na. Jukuti mu guta mu nzima mu safambika ne wa nutenga sa pindra itins. Yeah, no, that, that's a lie. Uh, you know, you know what, my brother. You know, for having this one event, they should put the masenda and they should come. At least I'm going to street because we want to be on the street. But I'm going to street because we are trying to look after our families. Uh, we all appreciate my challenges in the economy at the moment, and that's the reason why the majority of us uh, said that go into the streets. Mm -hmm. We want to look after our families. Chikarrega, mm government -hmm. capacity to assist to look after our families, including going to school. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's, it's, that, that should be treated clearly as that. Ram, Wawa zai rambai muri paru nare ndiku bata imuro mpaita mtereri muma tambo ti bati sei kweka nguwa nare ya kenga isinga yato nzuka shwaka naka. Uh, Precious uh, Magadi. Ndofara angu Magadi yo mko majonga. Dirumpe nyutino urumbo kuti mati bati ya kweka nguwa taati cheza uti kunzwe ya sita ati nga kwansi ukunzwe ya ndofunga ya maamchi kwansi ukunzwe ya nyuku vayikoko. Tipe yo fungwa enyu ya muina ya. Ya ndi chiku 
Thank you so much, Mkoma Precious. Uh, well, I think the point so, here is uh, almost mm-hmm. every caller is saying there should be employment creation. Mm-hmm. And uh, he is also saying uh, vendors always look for convenient places or mm-hmm. convenient sites where they can make a quick catch. That's it. And uh, it's very difficult for a, uh, a customer to go to Crisp and uh, Seke Road, walking there just mm-hmm. to look for tomatoes while there's an illegal vendor by the corner of 4th Street and uh, uh, Julius Nyerere, yeah. somewhere in the city. Yes. Yes. So in yes. the end, mm. these guys, I think in the end, they will be playing the cat and mouse game mm. with the police. Oh, yes. Mm. So we've lost uh, Mr. Promise Kwanazi and Mr. Joshua Muhambi and uh, Mr. 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 David Ndlovu. He had a problem, yes. Now he's back. Mr. Ndlovu, this is Dr. Super, you can see what you're doing. Yes, I'm going to ask you what you're doing. I'm going to ask you what you're doing. Mwazani ili kangata wala palifunu kuchasi wili kuzwele ya matolopeni. Uwaza iti kuingole pela MTC ezi izo zbambe matolopeni lapa. Akupenu laba ntikuwa napo nilofu. Isi ya ebu tora mtewo kisa mawoko awo mkoma chonga. Nyayiri kwa ndi ebu ti. Mwazani ili kangata wala palifunu kuchasi w
So what he's saying is that there are too many vendors organizations. That's true. This and that, this and that. More and than then, 20. Yeah, so he says at the end of the day, they may end up uh, undoing each other. So he says it's, it's really a, a pity that in Bulawa they once tried this strategy and they failed. Mm -hmm. You know, they wanted to move the vendors. I still remember he was uh, in the council. They tried to move the vendors from the city center to somewhere near Amakosi the theater productions. And the vendor said, no, it's too far. Mm -hmm. There's no one who passes through that place to buy anything. So it's only buses that pass through. So no one can just walk yeah. in there. Right. So I think he's got a point there. And if a city council is doing the same thing, he says maybe the problem is even, you know, at the end of the day, there is that need for proper planning, mm -hmm. you know. So CBS uh, City, message to uh, just uh, your last word on this issue. Yes. Mm, your last word, please. Okay. Okay, my 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 last words. Mm. Yeah, good. Uh, my investments are going to be in the big and pay on a shop ride to Zambia. When I pick and pay, no matter what, I want to go. It's a bongo going to be in pay report. They go out of the bank. Right. And then he has a teach tower and they put a woman at a Gati Batrani Senica. Kanamuno Anzi in pay and the crop and power of a kid, a pakanaka could eat a basarako ipapo. Aditi. Mm -hmm. The same market are in Zambia, and the commercial market is in Zambia. The same market is in Zambia. Zambia is a good example. You can end up in Kenya. You can end up in the market. You can end up in the Masai market. You can end up in the Kenya. You can end up in the UK. 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 You can end up in the why should Zimbabwe, why should Harare be different? We need to go alongside the mm -hmm. world trends, a quick infrastructure for SMEs so that SMEs also thrive and grow into bigger businesses. Mm -hmm. So this is the whole trust we come to here Harare, we take guys to Vanuatu, incubators. We call them incubation, incubation. So that's the matter to go from there. 